mshebebe hey <laughs> sasa reverend alitumia google map kwenda huko mashinani alipotea akapotea akapotea hata ak... <laughs> rev na, na nikapata homa <laughs> na ukapata homa uh, sasa bado kuna eh it was raining it was raining so sasa google maps ikaamua kufanya ile kitu kuingiza huko msitu tulikuwa <laughs> tuliona tunaenda downstream yes kambi ala tulikuwa nao hapa ngojeni mm. shuke niangalie the car cannot reverse oh you cannot go forward it, it was crazy yeah you know sometimes lakini siku hizi wame improve google mm. map ime improve kidogo mm. kini kuna wakati anakuambia upite katikati ya build <laughs> hata hapa mjini hapa mjini kuambia ndio hii radio mini lakini njia ni hii ni hapa kwa msitu kwa msitu eh. mm, no uh, nafikiria uh, leo ni miong- leo, leo man nimekuwa nimeongea kuhusu i've related that to uh, what is happening in our lives today na nafikiria it will be part of our conversation okay. this evening. Okay. Yes. Karibu en pole sana kwa homa utajikaza tu. Asante sana. Ukisikia imekulemea unaniashiria tunaenda micro tunaweka microphone off Jeff anatoa camera. <laughs> na usicheke. Sasa utafanya watu wafikirie ati at, niko hali mahututi. <laughs> 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 utafanya watu wajinwe kwa ni kwa, kwa, kwa stretcher <laughs> kwa, kwa, kwa sketch ukiongea sometimes unaweza kwa irritated oh. you know ukiongea kwa sababu sasa unaenda kuongea <laughs> ati ati zima zima nini Jeff atoe camera mm, atoe camera na mimi nizime microphone mm. kunywe maji mm. hata hivyo tunashukuru tena sana leo ni tarehe 23 Oktoba tuko mm. tayari tujifunze mawili matatu kutoka mm. kwako Ndiyo. na bila shaka yes karibu asante sana mm. na nashukuru kwamba uh, bado tunaendelea kuwa uh, poa mm. Mungu ametulinda pamoja na jamii tunashukuru na tuko na kila sababu ya kushukuru Mungu hasa hii siku ya leo. Na ni furaha kubwa kwamba kwamba mwaka unaendelea kuisha jeni na watu wanaendelea kufunga funga mwaka. Uh, wa toto wanafunga shule na ni vizuri tu tushukuru Mungu. Ni vizuri tushukuru Mungu kwamba uh, mambo yanasonga, yanasonga vizuri atuna wasiwasi <laughs> Mungu ametuhifadhi yeah. kuanzia January mpaka sasa hii imekuwa wiki ya graduations kweli uh, watu wengi wame graduate hasa wale wanaenda uh, wanafanya mtihani wa Kipsea mm. na wale wengine wanafanya wanaenda grade 1 mm-hmm. na nafikiria it has been a uh, week kwangu ya lot of reflection hasa kwa sababu ya vile society yetu inaendelea kuwa not very conducive for bringing up children mm. na leo nafikiria lile jambo ambalo ningetaka tulifikirie ni watoto wetu wako nyumbani kwa kipindi fulani miezi miwili miezi miwili zaidi ya miezi miwili zaidi ya miezi miwili na hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba ni lazima tujitoe kimhanga ni lazima tujitayarishe ili hii miezi miwili iwe miezi ambayo itawa jenga na kuwapeleka to the next level mm. kuna mtu ambaye alifanya research na sijui kama ame publish but the findings were a bit shocking because uh, we realized that most of teenage pregnancies zina happen during this holiday one kwa sababu this is a, a season of merry making in ile season ambayo inakuja with a lot of uh, exciting emotions number two, <coughs> it's a very long holiday kumaanisha kwamba sana sana watoto wako idol mm. na mahali kwingi hii si si wakati wa kulima kwa hivyo kazi kazi pia si nyingi na hapa Nairobi sasa watoto watalima wapi na especially na major towns mm-hmm. and therefore uh, tunapofurahia kwamba watoto wanaendelea vizuri na wamefunga shule kwa upande mwingine tunafaa kujiuliza swali 
how do we ensure that our children are safe? How do we ensure that our children are moving forward? How do we ensure that our children are kept off danger? That your mana leo tunaongea kuhusu building with precious stones. <coughs> Samahani. Na building with precious stones a uh, jeni namsikilizaji wangu ni kwamba tunataka kuangalia vile ambavyo tunaweza kuli kuacha marks ambazo ni permanent positive permanent marks in the life of our children and in the life of the people interact with. Na tunapoongea kuhusu building with precious stones ni vizuri tukumbuke kwamba uh, maisha haya before you know time have moved. Si so, nakumbuka last time tuliongea kuhusu uh, taking advantage of the flow mm-hmm. na tapping into the flow na kuhakisha kwamba every opportunity has been tapped into. Uh, you realize that before you know your child is not under your care anymore. Before you know they are adults, before you know you are a grandmother, before you know life has moved so fast. And therefore we are talking about building with precious stones. Na that basically means so building kujenga. kujenga. Na nitatumia mfano wa nyumba. Niseme kuna watu wengi ambao hataki ku invest kwa nyumba. So na labda si uwezo hana lakini unapata nyumba akienda tu apate nyasi anaika juu patope upande yako sawa. Mm. But the question is how durable is that house? Can that house stand the test of time? Kuna majengo mengine ambayo tunayaona ukisikia hilo jengo unasikia lilijengwa in the 16th century na bado leo mpaka mpaka waleo yapo sana sana kule uh, in the western world there are those buildings that were built many many centuries ago but there are buildings here uh, that are not even 10 years old and they have started collapsing na kwanza nitoe pole zangu kwa ile wa, zile familia ambazo ziko affected na ile nyumba ambayo iliporomoka pale ka west but this takes us back to what was used to build ni nini hiki ambacho kilitumika kujenga Precious stones are beautiful they are attractive Precious stones are rare And therefore when you're talking about leaving positive marks into the lives of people and especially our children nataka tuelewe kwamba yatupasa sisi kuwa watu ambao wana wanajikakamua kujenga na mawe ambayo ni ya mm. so that even several centuries down the line our buildings can still be standing na in very simple terms you are talking about kujenga watu ambao wata survive in our absence people who will survive in our absence mm-hmm. people who, when we are not there they can live life watajitegemea watajitegemea watajisimamisha mm-hmm. <coughs> na kwa hivyo basi ni vizuri tuelewe kwamba whatever we are doing in the lives of people and especially children today is something that will have lasting impact in the years to come na jumapili nilikuwa napatia watu mfano kwetu concern nikamwambia kwamba kuna watu wengi sana ambao uh, wakati walikuwa nalelewa hawakuweza kuwa na nyumba nzuri hawakuweza kuwa na viatu kienda shuleni hawakuweza kuwa na nguo unajua ama we uli experience watu ambao walikuwa na nguo moja tu ya kanisa in fact liko ile Sunday best akija nyumbani anatoa immediately jua kipato anayo na mzazi ni maneno but those are the people some of those are the people today who can enjoy life in abundance why because despite their situations 
they were built with precious stones. Na wazazi wao. Na leo hii wanaweza kuishi maisha ambayo ni bora kuliko yale ambayo walikuwa wanaishi wakati ule. Because their parents invested in build them, building them properly. Na watoto ni mambo wanafunzwa. Basically children needs guidance. Now the reason why I said uh, we will refer to this experience they had on Saturday ikomana wazazi wengi na models wengi ni kama hii Google Map. Google Map ambayo ina inakuambia your five kilometers away lakini ikwambii you're going the wrong direction. Map ambayo itakuwa encourage to go on na ikijua vizuri the way you're going akuna barabara. Mm-hmm. There are so many people that if today children looked at them watapotea vile ambavyo tulipoteza na Google Maps. And uh, my call kwa wazazi wakati huu wa holiday is that we can be intentional in building our children with precious stones. Now before to angalie how uh, or what we can do, I used the word map, M-A-P, map. Now by map I mean the good map acha hiyo ina ina inapeleka kwa msitu na m the best way to guide children even when they are home is to model how do you want your children to be model that there is a proverb from uh, the Repub- republic called uh, is it check or zek or mm-hmm. that one mm-hmm. that says I learn a little from what you say. <clears throat> I learn more from what you do. But I learn the most from who you are. Na wazazi one of the things that we must do and do well if we want to see our children in one piece maybe the beginning of next year or in the days to come we must model. Ni lazima tu wapatie mfano wa kufuata. Napenda maneno ambayo Paulo alisema akimwambia uh, 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 alikuwa Timotheo that follow my example as I follow the example of the example of Christ. Na I want to call upon every parent who can listen to me today to ensure that what you want to see in your children is what you're doing na mahali ambapo nimetoka nimeambia watu you will never know the pain of a child who is lost until that child you think is too young comes to you one day with some kind of indication that they are lost and therefore we must model we must be people who lead by example not by words only by example and i want to call parents and any other guardian na yeyote yule ambaye ana interact na watoto wakati wa holiday please do what you want to see your children doing mm-hmm. number 2 a avail avail your time <clears throat> after you model avail your time avail yourself avail your uh, resources tafadhali tusikuwe busy to to to, to storoke nyumbani kwa maana watoto wako watoto ni baraka watoto waje kuja kusumbua because i know people who will now start leaving home early and coming back later watu wakishalala please be available for your children it is in this availability that you are able to learn the character of your kids it is through this availability that you're able to observe the character of your children it is 
in this availability that you're able to listen to what your children are saying, to listen to what they are not saying, to, you are able to know them by observing, by looking at them. Nimesikia watu wengi wakisema na I keep praying every day that it equates a bad joke. That baba zao alikuwa anauliza unafanya nini nyumbani na waridi wamemaza shule. Yeah, I, I've had a number of people say that. I, 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 I keep praying that it's not a bad joke. But I pray a kwamba he holiday parents will be in touch with their children. They will be available. The little resources you have, avail them for your children. So that if it's a girl, they are not taken advantage of in the name of what upon Saada. Because some of the things that push our children away are very, very cheap things. Now you inafungua mlango yeah, those people who prey on children to come and take advantage of them. Parents, guardians, avail yourself, avail your time, avail your presence, avail your resources, avail what you have. Avail. So that your children can know that this is available for me. All right. Lamuisho, mm -hmm. after you avail, Protect the destiny of your children at all cost. Protect. You know, one of the most disturbing realities is that the devil is very serious with his assignment. When he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, he does not come as a joke. He comes very, very seriously. And this should remind us of the seriousness we should be having when we are protecting the destiny of our children. It could be just a small thing that you do, advocacy, speaking out on behalf of children, saying no to those, to those things, those bad cultural things that put the, the, the lives of children at risk. It could be standing out and saying, no, this is not going to happen. I remember, I, I have never been that proud of a dead person than a lady I, atte I attended her f funeral. And in a certain region of this country, she was among the few pioneers of anti-FGM campaigns. I was so happy as we buried this lady. Kusikia yeye alisema, hata kama wasikia na wangu hata pata watu wakua owa, because you see now, all this, whatever comes with a lot of amids and stereotypes. Alisema, no, I'll stay with them here. There were a number of women. I pray that we will protect the lives and the destinies of our children at all cost. By standing out against retrogressive cultures, this is the time for circumcisions, especially among the Kikuyu community that I'm uh, familiar with. And I know during circumcision, that is when child, uh, young boys are introduced to a number of things. Why don't we as parents say, no, this is what has been done in the past, but for my child, uh -uh. Why don't we stand and actually do even things like civil education? Why don't we gather children together, of course, with a proper plan, with child protection policy, with authority from the local? Why don't we gather, see how as parents we can bring our children together maybe once a week and have a talk with them and use the resources that we have so that we can protect the destinies of our children at all costs. Protect the destiny of our children. Lovely. Ujumbe mzuri sana pale Rev. Na kwa hivi sasa tunapunga hewa kidogo tupate ujumbe kutoka studio. Kisha tuendele na haya mazungumzo. The Catholic Radio for All. 88.3. Oh, oh, oh.
Sami tunazungumza jinsi gani wazazi wataweza kuwalea kulea kizazi ambacho kesho kitakuwa ni kizazi cha kujitegemea mm. uh, na tunaona ya kwamba kuna mbinu mbalimbali ambazo Reva naenda kutushirikisha hapa ikiwa ni changa moto kwa wazazi na walezi wote mm-hmm. je yule mtoto yule mtoto ambaye yuko chini ya ulinzi wako unamchung unamwangalia unamchunga so Rev yes. practically wazazi walezi wafanye nini ah uh iki ni kibarua kikubwa mm. it's actually a lot of work lakini Mungu atusaidia nafikiria one of the precious stones that uh, any parent can build the life of their child with is integrity na integrity this is one of the values that in fact wale watu wanafanya comparison when compare na gold they look at the unbreakable quality of gold because it is pure it is incorruptible na ni vizuri wazazi wajue kwamba mtoto akiwa na hii quality ya integrity atajipata wapi ata survive ata jipate akiwa na kwa fix gani they will come out on the other side strong na integrity tunasema ni what you do when uh, no one else is watching you na mimi naomba kwamba tutasaidia watoto wetu kuwa children of integrity through the way we model remember tumeongea kuhusu modeling and through the way we coach them through the way we mentor them in fact the reason why unaona tukiwa na easy issues ambazo unaona hata kwa nchi yetu it still takes us back to integrity and uh, may this holiday this long holiday be a moment of us building our children to be men and women of integrity both now and in the days to come because if we do not do that then we are not able to let the children adopt a culture that will be of effect even in the days to come uh, i also want to remind parents that these things are done through electronic or social learning na learning kama vile ambavyo unaanza kusema we learn very little from what people say we learn very little from what people do but we learn the most from who they are na kwa hiyo basi every one of us should work at starting being a person of integrity themselves so that our children can build their lives of these two months when they are home or slightly above that with this precious stone of integrity integrity itamwambia this is not what i'm supposed to do this is not things people my age do True. this is not things people my age are allowed to eng- to uh, 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 engage in because they are um, a boy or a girl or a child of integrity number two, we must also invest in emotional stability for our children tafadhali wazazi na guardians shughulikie ni mental health of your children This is a uh, one of the other sad realities nowadays is children who are dying by suicide are so many. Na because of the exposure to technology and all that all that all that we must ensure that our children are stable emotionally wazazi usipike kelele for no reason 
usikubali mambo madogo ya kuharibia mood to mm-hmm. the point that you fight with your children for no reason because this happens a lot na even if there's a reason there's a tone kuna ile tone ambayo kuna tone mm. usikubali pressure ya vitu kuisha kwa nyumba one of the things by the way parents you must be prepared this time is that your budget will go high mm. usikubali your pressure ifanye u displace your anger on your children let's try our best to be as stable as possible so that our children cannot experience the same Unfortunately, there are things that once done they cannot be undone. Because when you've caused drama and you've lost your child because they became emotionally unstable. Those are not things that you can undo. And therefore, may we try to create an environment where children will be stable emotionally and not just for now because if it starts now or if it continues now it is something that we will build up to become something very uh, huge later in the future and uh when we ha- we have regulated emotions we are able to have a calming influence on our children I know a young man who is uh, in form 5 and 6 who is in form 6 now his his system is a bit different and he texted me and he told me uh you remember that girl I told you that I he just she just texted me and told me uh she's two months pregnant and I'm not responsible because our relationship has been pure and I looked at this young man and most likely this was something that they able to share with their parents and he tells me he's broken he's na 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 and you see he is about to go home and then the parents are looking at him and they are adding on to that pressure i want to beseech let me use the b- biblical language i want to beseech the parents please take time to create a calming environment for your children some of them could be having issues that you will never understand issues that you will never know issues that they'll never share with you mimi ningekuwa na uwezo ningelazimisha kila mzazi atengeneze kwake nyumbani pale mahali ambapo watoto wakija watatulizwa kumbuka hawa watoto wametoka shule kuna pressure ya performance na mambo mengine mm. wacha wakifika nyumbani hata kama hawakuperform bila ulifikiria create an environment where they can be calm kwa maana wakitulia mm. they are able to improve on their trajectory mm. lakini wakipata nyumbani ni msukasuko ukweli ni kwamba hakuna kitu ambacho kitabadilisha kitabadilika ndani ya maisha yao mm emotional stability is a very 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 key precious stone for building the lives of our children lajamo lingine kitu ambacho kinaitwa creativity and innovation creativity and innovation it is about time it is about time for things that are possible what to anza kutoa watoto wako box for things that are possible and for things that are morally upright watoto waanze kutolewa kwa box let the children release their creativity let them unleash the potential within I want to I know I know at times unga can be expensive I know pia mafuta can be expensive mm. but you can give your child a lasting skill by allowing them to spoil that one cup of unga trying to make mandazi or learning to make mandazi You can teach your child a skill that will carry them through their life through their life 
by allowing them to spend that 200 shilling that they are asking you. Let us allow our children to be as creative, as innovative as possible. Na mimi nimeona jana jana tukiwa nikiwa na, naenda kuchukua uh, my daughter shule aliona notebook kwa gari akaniambia uh, nimpatie kalamu with something she wants to draw and then she says i want to draw your dad and i realized with proper nurturing this is a four year old with proper nurturing she can improve and become a better artist mm. because i looked at what she do and i thought ah yeah this is impressive mm. this is impressive mm. if we can allow our children to be creative if we can allow our children to be innovative we'll be surprised on how we grow their imaginative skills how we can uh, grow their skills to uh, see beyond what maybe traditionally have been culture to see I've seen children because of being encouraged on creativity and innovative they have even changed the lives of their uh, families and their communities there's a young man called uh, Tenge Tenge I don't know whether you know Tenge 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 is from Uganda mm-hmm. and uh, she's one of the young people who I would say financially she's doing very he's doing very well uh and he's living his life mm-hmm. if you google tenge tenge you're going to see this young man mm-hmm. he is going all over the world today and he started by just being comical on the internet and of course he had he has uh, some looks that are to me they are very wonderful and uh marvelous and but the parents and the society allowed him to be innovative and creative. Yeah. And this man, this young man is actually a boy. This young boy has even sunk drills in his community. Why? Mm. Because he was allowed and encouraged to be creative and innovative. Okay. I've seen a girl who is uh, in primary 7 and uh, she's playing for Madare women's team which I, i i think i i'm not sure about i'm not very good at football but i think it's a national team oh, I, i don't know whatever I what, whatever know. what to, to, to say to me football yeah team. she uh, she's doing that mm. and she's in primary 7 mm. this is not the time for us not unless you realize it is dangerous and risk for your child please don't put yourself in, your child in a box okay let your children be creative let your child be uh, innovative of course within certain parameters mm. remind your children that uh, you need them to be as creative as possible the other thing that we need to build uh, children with please let your children live up life of papas this holiday let your children be accountable to you sim toro ke amuka hana plan hana form let them tell you what what is the plan for their day if possible have them write it down that is how you are, you teach people to make a uh, purpose of their time of their lives let them have something that they have purpose to do so that by the end of the day you can uh, have something to refer because if you let them flow with whatever comes they will flow with whatever comes and at times whatever comes might not be the best mm-hmm. if we can cultivate a sense of purpose in our children where a child knows i will wake up at 7 then after i wake up i'll do this i'll do this i'll do this i'll do this i rest i'll watch i will mm-hmm. if children to do that then you're building them with a precious stone mm-hmm. because watakuwa wakijua ya kwamba maisha yako na maana yake
kila siku iko na sababu yake I, I, I do not want to say that sleep is bad but I want to discourage parents from encouraging their children to wake up at midday to sleep at 5 a.m. I, this is a, I know this is a personal opinion and uh, I know there are families who do things differently but let these children have a purpose of their days and a purpose of their lives because if left uncontrolled and by control i do not mean censor, censoring i mean control if left unchecked children have a way of pushing boundaries leo unamwacha na lala saa 5 ya usiku kesho atalala saa 6 wewe kingine atalala saa 8 unamwacha melala ameamka saa 5 Ato ujui kama nakula breakfast ama ni lunch. Hiyo siku ingine atamuka saa sa tisa na saa. And we are looking at building our children with precious stones. And one of those precious stones is reminding them that they have a purpose for every day. Finally, I want to finish by reminding our listener that you, the material you use for building sooner than later will be noticed. And uh, you see when you have all these forms, types of houses, you could be happy that you have a house. And I want to use the parable that our Lord Jesus Christ used of a wise and a foolish builder. These people are very comfortable up until that one day when the storm came. And you could be okay thinking things are flowing, think, thinking that things are working, thinking that the way you've been doing things is okay up until when you find yourself in a scenario with your child. But I would pray that we don't get to there. I would pray that we do not get to a point where we look back with regrets. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways for us to avoid this is for us to ensure that we are building the lives of our children with the precious stones, with the right things. So that when trouble comes, when the storm comes, these children will be planted on a firm foundation these children will withstand the storm. These children will be left standing even when the storm has come and gone. All right. Building with precious, precious stones. Storm. Yes. Wow. Changamoto kwa wazazi. Jioni ya leo, wazazi walezi. Tunapo pata ile fursa ya kweza kujiuliza. Watoto, muna, uh, wale ambao ni wazazi na walezi. Ni kuzingatia haya mambo mbayo Reverend amesema hapa. Kwa sababu kesho, itafika ambapo wanajitegemea, ina, wa, mm. inabidi wajitegeme. Mm. Wataenda pale katika ulimwengu na itabidi wajitegeme. Kweli. Itategemea na vile ulivu wa jenga hapo mm. nyuma. So kwa sababu ya mda, naomba tuweke point pa, uh, tukome pale. Nam. Na kwanza ni seme shukrani sana Rev. Ume struggle, ume kuja hapa na yo, you know, uh, Ugonjwa wa homa ni, ni mwa complicated sana. Yes, yes. Na tunashukuru na tunakuombe upati afueni. Now. And thank you, thank you, thank you kwa sababu umetufunza mambo mazuri. Asante sana. Tujiandae kwa sala iko imesalia dakika tatu igonge mwendo wa saa 12.